<laughs> yeah, actually, just got out of the cage. <laughs> How was the cage? It was good. Just uh, got the routine in, about to come out here and take some BP. So you're not ready to play, are you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm itching to get out there. I'm excited to get on the field, touch the, touch the dirt, and get running. So you are playing more first base now after playing some outfield last year. Just tell us about that. Um, yeah, they put me at first a few times during spring training. Uh, I still think I'm going to be primarily in the outfield, but uh, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm excited to see how they split that up. Uh, but I think my versatility can show if I play first, left, right, wherever. Coach talked about how you guys might put a little pressure on yourself to repeat this year. What are your thoughts about that? Um, I mean, I think it's definitely like our expectation. Uh, we have a good group of guys, a bunch of, bunch of guys returning, and then some new guys who are uh, looking to step up and help out the, uh, the lineup. So why are you at Big League Camp this year? Whose brain did you pick the most as far as Big Leaguers go? Yeah, no, uh, picking brain, I, I think I did more so just uh, kind of watching how they went about, about their day. Uh, really impressive to see like Simeon's work ethic and just how like uh, his craft, how much he puts into his routine. And then uh, I spent some time talking to Brad Miller quite a bit and just uh, just hanging out with them and just seeing what they do. It's, it's pretty cool. What do uh, personal goals look like for you this season? Um, I haven't really written anything down, but uh, I know what I'm capable of. I'm just going to come out here and uh, play, put together good at-bats, uh, work out work out in the outfield, try to get better there, and just keep grinding and just do what I can and see where it ends up. So last year they won a championship here. I know you were hurt and you didn't get to play in the playoff run with them, but uh, uh, Ben asked this interesting question. Do you guys have that in the back of your head that you want to repeat, or is that, that something that has to stay to the side? You just got to go out and do your work and, and get what's going on. Oh, no, for sure. I think uh, – even riding over here, joking around with some of the guys, we are uh, expected to kind of. I think I think we can uh, repeat what we did last year and just uh, have one good week at a time and just build off of them. And just I think we got the group that that can do it. How cool is that? I mean, if you look at the top 30 prospects that the Texas Rangers have, literally in the top 10, most of them are here. Yeah, including yourself. Yeah. I mean, this is one talented group of players in Double A. No, for sure. There's a there's there's no lack of talent, that's for sure. If it's in the batter's box or on the mound, we got uh, quite the roster, and it should should be an exciting year. Very new coaching staff this year. Can you just talk uh, what the experience has been like so far? Uh, uh, you know, giving any input or nuggets so far that you've kind of taken with you before you get started the season. Mm -hmm. No, um, I've worked with a lot of these guys before. These the staff. Uh, Carlos was my manager and down east. And uh, he managed a lot of these guys who are here now. And I'm uh, excited to work with him again. And I, uh, I like his manager mind, and I, I'm excited for it. Jordan Walker obviously played here last year. Now he's have, got that big call up. Do you ever dream and what goes through your mind about getting that call up? Uh, no, yeah, that's, that's been a dream of mine since I was started playing, about four or five years old. But uh, no, it's something I, uh, I don't like to think about too much because I want to stay where my feet are at. But uh, no, I'm, uh, I'm excited for when that day comes. Thanks, Dustin.